In the wee hours of August 31st, 1973, police in Cordell, a south middle Georgia town that straddles Interstate 75, radioed the cops 60 miles away in Macon. Be on the lookout. There was trouble, or something, on the way. An item in the Telegraph a few days later described the essence of that 2.25 a.m. warning. Quote, a UFO was heading toward Macon. Multicolored lights over various areas of Macon that late August night was how the Telegraph described numerous eyewitness accounts from locals, firefighters, and police officers. Other such sightings that night were reported from Albany to Atlanta, but it was a sighting by a pair of Macon police officers that lent credence to the reports. Officer Robert Michael Barreth was in a squad car that night with Officer H. E. Hathaway on patrol near Central High School. They had heard radioed alerts of UFO sightings. Then as they cruised up Clisby Street, Barreth's partner, Officer Hathaway, said, Mike, there's one of those things. An account of what happened next was published the next day in the city's afternoon paper, the Macon News, which wrote, the two officers watched the UFO for a few minutes and then called in. Barreth said they heard a call from car 65 at Westgate Mall, with officers there saying they saw it too. Soon, at least seven officers were with Barreth looking at the lights. Quote, There was no way to judge how high they were. They looked like they were just below the stars. They must have been bigger than a basketball, maybe the size of a car, Barreth said. Four of the lights formed a perfect baseball diamond with three lights forming a tail. The write-up went on to quote Barreth, who was 26 at the time, saying, I'm glad someone saw it besides me. Yes, I believe in UFOs. There has got to be something to them. Another published account said firefighters riding in what was described as, quote, a Macon Fire Department unit saw the same thing the officers did and that the firefighters chased, quote, one UFO as far as Interstate 75 near Hartley Bridge Road and then lost it. 